What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. I want to talk about SNDL. I want to give you an overview of some of the current data points, what's been coming out about the company itself, and go over everything else you need to know. But first, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So currently, it is down 1.83%, largely piggybacking off of the broader market. And the NASDAQ currently is down 1.37%. So that's kind of what is happening behind the scenes. A lot of volume, though. So 2.23 million shares have been traded within the first about three hours of the trading day 3.15 is the average and despite the high volume though it's a lot of algorithmic trading versus a lot of long investors getting in and you can kind of tell that based on this so these are some of the transactions that have occurred over one hundred thousand dollars on the secondary market you only see one for today so 141 thousand based on the bid the ask and the selling price it was a buy so that's probably what kick-started that nice rally up uh, first thing right here but aside from that though you can kind of tell based on the volume and just there being only one transaction it's just a lot of algorithmic trading versus long investors getting in which is kind of unfortunate but then again the whole cannabis sector has been getting a lot of popularity ever since biden kind of rescheduling or at least proposing to reschedule it to a schedule three drug which in among itself i think is fairly good it drive up demand but aside from that though there's a lot of articles coming out talking on i guess the tax ramifications to that rescheduling and how it would really affect a lot of retailers so that might once again really hurt sundial but still no matter what though this is potentially coming late 2024 or at least second half of 2024 but i'm going to put this article in the description below as well for you to read just came out today and i really do like it. it goes over a lot of different things even including the tax relief and how that could potentially affect a lot of retailers down the line so once again let me know your thoughts on that coming from SNDL itself the last news that did come out was on December the 13th so nothing really recent as far as SEC filings oddly enough it only shows December or I guess November the 20th being the last submission to the SEC but if you look right here, there was a lot of transactions that have been done by insiders as of December the 19th, but yet there was no corresponding form four. So that's kind of weird. Um, it does look like there was a lot of awarded shares um, to a lot of the insiders. Once again, all December the 19th, even transactions occurring on December the 11th. And that one was a buy and that was from a director. But aside from that, a lot of awarded shares and then corresponding sells. It's hard to tell because you can't really see the transaction code based on this, whether it was for tax purposes or whatever else. But the ratio, if you kind of look at what this was done, so Ryan who did sell just shy of about 20,000 shares it looks like I think he got about 33,000 shares so as far as taxes I think that is rather high so that's maybe ruling that out no matter what though this definitely isn't the best um, I'm not a big fan of awarded shares especially considering the stock price has not been good whatsoever especially considering now we are in 2024 starting something fresh and the stock price itself has gone down 22.22 percent so once again let me know your thoughts on that um, definitely though SNDL has improved over the last little bit like especially 2020 like this was crazy crazy high they did do a reverse stock split right here and that was july 26 2022 a one for ten but no matter what um i feel like sndl has somewhat stabilized over the greater part of last quarter so maybe that might be an indication that bigger and better things might be coming but going over some of the data points starting off with shorts because a lot of people like to talk on shorts and whatever else currently the short interest is about 4.16 percent and that's the percentage of the free float and right now 107.97 thousand shares are being returned so that's kind of a positive day with today being red and shorts returning kind of shows that they feel like it's an unjustified sell off so that might be a positive thing out of all of this 10.77 million shares overall are being shorted through interactive broker short availability does indicate that there's around 7 million shares available to be shorted so a lot of ammunition behind the scenes and right now I think today's pullback is just due to the overbought status uh, on the technicals but keep in mind the fear and greed index right now is 75 so the market does want to propel a lot of these growth stocks such as SNDL 
higher. But looking at some of the options activity, for instance, right now $15,000 in calls being purchased versus 6,000 in puts. Sentiment wise, 52% of all the options activity is bullish. So people are anticipating for SNDL to continue to trend up. Of the call options that are being purchased, there is a large consensus that it is going to close above $1.50 by this Friday. Kind of seems realistic to me if you want to consider it that way. And if it does close above $1.50, there's going to be 2000 in open interest that will get exercised, meaning market makers are going to have to buy that on the open market. Might cause a small little bump in the stock price, not really anything significant. Of the puts though, there's a consensus for it to be below $1.50. But let's talk on technicals for a second. With it at $1.61 right now, it is trading between this S1 and this pivot point. So $1.62 is kind of flirting with that right now. So I wouldn't really consider it broken, but you'll really want to watch where it does close today. If it does kind of retrace back down and maybe closer to this, the S1, but regardless, $1.55 is going to be the next strong support. And then above that is $1.70, which it kind of did bounce off of today. Like I mentioned, $1.68 was the high. So I feel like behind the scenes, a lot of the data points are very optimistic, meaning that maybe higher highs are in SNDL's future. So potentially 2024 might start off fairly well. There's a lot of data points coming out that could disrupt the broader market. And just to go over some of those data points starting off, off on Wednesday, meaning tomorrow, the FOMC meeting minutes. And so that whole meeting that happened in December is actually what kickstarted this whole Santa Claus rally with the broader market. So maybe it might continue this rally up or it might kind of break the market. We'll just have to sit tight and wait. Thursday will really be beneficial to SNDL because ADP, non-farm employment, and then as well, non-farm payroll, which has two very big indicators linked to consumers. So that once again is what SNDL is all about. So let me know your thoughts on SNDL. Give yourself a shout out. Have you been buying? Have you been selling? What have you been doing with SNDL? And one final thing I just wanted to share with you, take advantage of this promo. It has been extended with Moomoo. So sign up for an account with Moomoo, throw $100 at it, and you get five free stocks. Each stock is valued up to $2,000. So take advantage of this. Link in the description below and also the comments. And with all that said, I appreciate all of you watching.